Hey folks, Poverty Port Customs here. What we're going to do today is install this 45 inch post guide system for our Venture boat trailer. What it is, it will allow you to put your boat on the trailer a lot easier. You're going to have guides like this uh, when we're putting the boat in or taking it out. The trailer is probably five feet under the water, so you can't see where the back is. So this is certainly going to help it. So let's get this unboxed. So depending on the size of your trailer, ours is three by five. The bolts that it comes with is six and a quarter inch, which isn't gonna be long enough. So I ended up having to get some larger ones. These are actually eight inch. The only ones I could find locally were actually light bolts. So we'll make these work. And you can see the little extra height that it gives. These are galvanized. And I ended up getting, I believe it was eight. They're very expensive. I think they were just under $50 for eight of these and eight nuts. All right, to install the bracket, what you're going to do is you're going to take this one. Also, you want to determine how far forward or back you want your post. I'm going to go about here. So you have your top bracket. The post is actually going to squeeze in between here. You have this piece of metal. You can put your bolts through. Then you're going to take your bottom bracket, slide it up into the bolts. And put on your nuts. Just uh, put them on a couple of threads because you're going to want to put your posts through before you tighten these up. So this is how it looks so far. Again, these are the only bolts that I could find in this length locally. So I'm going to put some uh, vice grips on here to hold them tight. I'll like tighten up the four nuts at the bottom. Next, you're going to want to take your post and insert it to here and you're going to snug up these but don't snug them up too tight because we're going to want to adjust this so next you're going to want to take this tube and feed it down just like that so before I snug down the nuts and bolts there on the bracket, we want to make sure how far I want this out. So what I'm doing is looking at the trailer fender, and I see the boat actually has to shift over this way about an inch or two compared to this side here. So I'm going to have this so it's out probably an inch or two up here. And then on this side, it's probably going to be at about three inches. You got to make sure you still give yourself enough room to actually get your boat in the trailer. So you can't have it tight so it's touching. You need a little bit of play on each side. And there we go. These aren't held on. They're just dropped on the post. They do spin. They are hard plastic, so just remember that against your boat. And again, leave a little bit of space. And we've got this side done also. You can see there's a little bit more space on this side because the boat should actually be over this way a couple inches. And again, you got your top bracket your plate a lower plate check to make sure your bolts are long enough and I have a nylon lock washer and a washer on the bottom so every year make sure you snug these up just to make sure they're nice and tight but this is very very tight it's not going anywhere so. well, I hope you found this video helpful if you do make sure to hit that thumbs up and 
make sure to comment if you have any questions or comments or suggestions again this is our 24 and a half foot bay liner and again thanks for watching happy boating season take care